Did you know that nearly 43% of cyber attacks target small businesses, and 60% of those businesses can't afford the cost of the damage? They end up closing their doors. Cybersecurity isn't just an IT problem, it's an everybody problem. And here's the thing you can take some major steps to secure your business right now, even if you're not an IT expert. Hello, I'm Jonathan, and welcome to Core Business Solutions. We're ISO and cybersecurity experts helping small businesses across America. In this video, we'll look at some helpful insights from the ISO 27001 Information Security Standard to see how you can start protecting your information right now. Even if you're a small business, you need cybersecurity. You might not think of cybersecurity as a major priority, but every day, more and more of life and work go online. No matter what your business does, you're using the internet. You have data stored in the cloud. You're holding meetings on Zoom. You're using online platforms to store customer information. At this point, cybersecurity isn't a luxury. It's part of the quality that customers and partners expect from a business. People want to work with companies who protect their data. Even if you're following quality standards like ISO 9001, which are designed to produce customer satisfaction, you likely won't have full customer trust if you're not keeping your systems secure. Every year, the risk of cyber attacks in small businesses goes up. According to a CNBC report from 2019, the average cost of a cyber attack on a small business is $200,000, and many small companies just can't recover from that. But why do so many of those attacks succeed? Often it's not because of some new technological advance in hacking methods, it's because attackers exploit basic unpreparedness and simple human error. With basic cybersecurity principles from proven security standards like ISO 27001, you can start securing your business even if you're not a technological wizard. Full cybersecurity, of course, does require some technical controls, but you can start preventing some of the most common cyber attacks with the resources you already have. So here are some quick tips for cybersecurity in a small business. First, know where you stand. When you're creating a cybersecurity strategy, you need to ask yourself two questions. What do you need to protect? And what are you currently doing to protect it? Think about all the information that lives in your business and on your networks. This could be anything. Information about your products, your finances, your marketing strategies, even customer information. What would happen if that information fell into the wrong hands? Then think about how you're protecting that information right now. Is your current security really suited to the risk you would face if that information leaked out? You'll likely see that some areas require more action than others, areas with vital information and insufficient protection. With these priority areas in mind, you can start building a cybersecurity strategy that fits your business. Next, build risk awareness in your team. If you want to prevent actual cyber attacks, this is absolutely essential. Around 90% of cyber attacks result from basic human error. You can stop a wide number of threats just by making your people aware of the danger. Encourage your team to be proactive. Remind them that there's more than work information at risk here. Personal contact information, financial data, even medical information could be compromised in an attack. Discourage them from storing this personal information on workplace devices. The best way to create a secure business is to create a security culture, but that takes time. You can start raising awareness in your team today. Next up, create a bring your own device policy and be diligent about it. With the massive rise in telework, this has become more important than ever. 
businesses can no longer just worry about company-owned devices. They need to think about any device employees might use to connect to a company network or access company information. Employee-owned devices can be a major weak point in a company's security, and hackers know it. So create a policy with set parameters for the use of personal devices. Have a minimum level of security required for any device that accesses company information or uses a company network, and encourage your team to protect their own devices, digitally and physically. Here's another big one. Educate your team about phishing scams. You might be thinking, who falls for phishing scams? But phishing scams can be surprisingly devious. Scammers can make these attacks look like authentic messages from inside your company. They might impersonate a manager or a member of the IT department. These scams can come from email, text, phone, or even social media, usually containing harmful links to obtain your information or infect your device with malware. Many companies have faced massive breaches from simple phishing scams. But all it takes to prevent these attacks is education. Teach your team how to spot phishing scams. Encourage them to never give out login information unless explicitly instructed by HR or company leadership. You can also set clear policies for information sharing so your team can quickly recognize fraudulent requests. And speaking of login credentials, you should also enforce strict password protocols. We use passwords for everything, and that makes password management a challenge. A weak password is like a weak lock on a door. If you're keeping valuable information behind that door, you want to make sure you're using a good lock. Create a password protocol for your company-related networks and devices. Give your team defined guidelines for creating and keeping their passwords. Some guidelines you might consider. Encourage your team to keep their passwords private. Consider using trusted third-party password management software. This can help you maintain unique login credentials for different work accounts. You might even require password updates on a regular basis to keep things fresh and prevent reuse. You can go even further by requiring two-factor authentication wherever possible, creating an extra level of password security. Another good practice for small businesses delete unused accounts. The fewer accounts you have, the fewer opportunities for an account to be compromised. Many companies leave those old credentials hanging in cyberspace after employees change roles or move on, and this gives attackers a perfect opportunity to infiltrate your network through unmonitored accounts. Consider making account removal or lockdown part of your regular offboarding process. And finally, Stay on top of updates and backups. You might not be a tech expert, but software companies like Microsoft and Apple have their own experts working behind the scenes to build the latest security into their updates. Make a point of installing software updates as soon as you receive notifications. If possible, turn on automatic updates for your operating system, your browsers, and your plugins. Take a break and run that update you keep ignoring. Old versions of software can leave you open to vulnerabilities. There's nothing worse than falling victim to a problem that's already been patched because you just didn't run the update. Updates are key, and so are backups. Get into the practice of backing up your essential company data, and do this at regular intervals to keep those backups current. Cyber attacks often compromise data or hold it hostage, as in the case of ransomware. If you don't have a backup, these attacks can cripple your business with lost information and costly downtime. But if you have a secure, usable backup, you can keep things up and running. Take that, hackers. Running a small company is all about risk management. In today's cyber threat environment, you need to take risks seriously but you can turn that risk into opportunity. When customers see that you value security, that you know how to protect your information in a dangerous digital world, 
their satisfaction with your business will increase. In fact, many customers want to see you prove that commitment with an official certification to security standards like ISO 27001. If you work with government contracts, you probably need to comply with standards like NIST SP800-171 or CMMC 2.0. At Core Business Solutions, we've helped hundreds of small businesses achieve cybersecurity compliance. We provide training, consulting, and technical solutions to help you make cybersecurity as simple and effective as possible. You can find some great free resources at thecoresolution.com. We have free PDF guides on ISO 27001, CMMC, and other cyber standards. You'll also find helpful articles with more information about cybersecurity for small businesses. Thanks for watching. If you learned something in this video, give it a like and share it with a friend. And subscribe to this channel for more great ISO and cybersecurity content. Until next time, remember to run those updates.